If any of you are at all serious about competing in raids, then I'm gonna sum up the video in like a few words. Koharu, 100% a must pull. And my dudes, I say that knowing that the summer units are gonna be right after Koharu. As you can see, Summer Azusa, Mashiro, Summer Hifumi, Summer Hina, Iori, Koharu is still super, super used. Tragic, to be honest, but that is where we're at. Hi, welcome back to another Blue Archive video. My name is Lace and here are my promised Blue Archive content. I freaking do actually really like this game. And so today we are going to be talking about Koharu, what exactly she does, what does she bring to the table and why you really do need to roll for her if and only if you are raid oriented. And for you guys who also do play pre-con, it's very, very similar to the whole debacle of PVP or CB. Choosing one or the other to focus on because if you don't, you're gonna be stretched super thin for resources. And so with that said, welcome to Koharu. Koharu will be released after the current Hibiki and Azusa banner ends. And so let's get into her skill set and what she does before we go and like rate her and stuff. So first of all, EX skill Holy Hand Grenade costs three of the skill points. And so what Holy Hand Grenade does is that it deals damage to enemies but also heals allies in a round shape area. For you guys who are not familiar with the round shape area, it is essentially like your Akari EX skill. Or if you guys have Hibiki, it's her EX skill, but like instead of five of those bombs dropping, it is only one. So this is certainly half of the reason why she is brought along in raids. Like honestly, they could remove the damage and she probably still would be as sought after as she is today. And the reason is that some of the raids actually require healing, right? So if I come over here, and before I keep going, shout out to Stocky for this awesome spreadsheet. But you will see that Koha Haru is actually ranked a 10, 10, 10 for Shirokuro, Hiero, and Kaiten. And so considering we literally just had Hiero and with the whole healing mechanic, you got to heal that green lantern to be able to get the defense down on the boss. All I can say that like whilst it's not that kind of mechanic, the other bosses, Kaiten, Shirokuro, and to an extent Bina and Peroro, to be able to score those high scores, you're going to need to bring a healer. However, Koharu, Striker, I think to this date, she might still be the only healer striker that exists. So why exactly is this important? A massive reason is because if your striker is a healer and if she provides sufficient heals, what that means is that you can actually take DPS specials instead. So for example, you would take your Kotama as well as Hibiki. That's probably what I would be taking. You can see tens across the entire chart and then only rely on the Koharu's EX as well as one of her other skills that we will get to shortly for healing. But the added bonus of being a striker and this is like kind of why it is preferred over Serena and Hanae, although we will still be using those two healers. The fact that she is a sniper means that she can also technically contribute a little bit of damage as well. And so yeah, Hiero, Kaiten, and Shirokuro, Shirokuro, those freaking AoE bombs are freaking annoying. And when we're going to EX or even starting to look at it, Koharu is 100% going to be included. Otherwise, I'm just going to digress. I think I went a little bit in on that. And so let's talk about like her skills again. So like I said, this is an AOE heal as well as an AOE damage. And so depending on your positioning, you're able to do things like this, right? So I think right at the very start, he is going to drop the Koharu onto all three of these characters. He's going to be able to heal up the Akane as well as trigger the Green Lantern. Thank you, Weeb Doggo, for the quick clip. However, that is not all. You saw that the Green Lantern was was actually on about half HP before we dropped the Koharu EX heal. And the reason for that is actually because of Koharu's second skill. As you can see, it is called I'll Take Care of You and it is going to restore HP to one of her allies when the HP drops below 50% with a 20 second CD. And that is exactly what happened over here. So if I come back up to the start, you will notice that the Green Lantern was actually on that same little bit of HP that we originally start off with. However, combat has started and Koharu is going to freaking throw a grenade into the Green Lantern. As you guys can see there, 19,950 healing, which is fantastic. And then all you have to do after that is drop the Koharu EX. Honestly, just seeing like this small clip of her doing that for the Green Lantern already skyrockets her for me personally, for Hiero at least. But that was a pretty good demonstration of her normal skill. So with that, let's move on to passive skill. Now, this passive skill, it's decent, right? Increases her attack by X percentage. Obviously, especially because she is being used for a raid, having more attack is always better. Hopefully, it will contribute to the damage so that we can get that time a little bit lower. However, Koharu's 
primary purpose for being on the field is not for attack and so with that let's move on it like it's good getting attack is good but that's not 100% what we want and so lastly what we do have over here is I'm an elite that's why okay well what that really means is that we are getting an every 30 seconds she is going to be increasing her heal stat by a certain percentage for 20 seconds the uptime on that is honestly pretty incredible 30 seconds 20 seconds that's about 66 percent uptime and this is 100 percent going to increase her healing output which is again her primary purpose and so with all of that being said i think the skill priority is pretty pretty clear it is going to be your normal skill first and then your sub skill to be able to boost your heal and then after all of that it is going to be the passive skill last the attack and as for the ex skill it's just using a different material but like juice it up as much as you can on that note just remember that she is a trinity student as you can kind of see over here or uh, maybe up here trinity general school and so what that means is that if you are watching this before the next raid comes or before koharu is actually dropping you do have the opportunity to buy out the trinity materials like the skill mats from the raid shop i certainly would recommend it considering the majority of you probably pulled for Azusa and probably juiced her out as well. On the other hand, we are also in a two times normal drop right now and these are her equipments. Her equipments are a cap, a hairpin as well as the necklace. So necklace of course healing top priority. And then on the other hand she deals red damage, explosion damage but to be honest this is not really like the driving force as to why she's used in each boss. Like coming back to Stocky's sheet, she is a 9 in Bina, a 10 in Shirokuro and a 9 in Peroro. So honestly her red attribute is it's kind of like a non-factor. Now I've raved on and on about how Koharu is freaking awesome, you must pull her if you are a competitive raid player. And so I wanted to quickly talk about her performance in PvP. In a nutshell, don't. Koharu certainly is not built to be a PvP unit, like majority of the time you're looking at like fast pace, deal as much damage as you can, store comps are almost non-existent. So yeah, you're better off using like your Hibikis as well as your Iori's, Haruna's. Koharu, unfortunately, as far as I understand, she doesn't see overly much PvP use. Alright, and so before we wrap up here, there is one last thing that I do want to talk about, and that is the timeline. So let me just zoom in a little bit for you guys. So it's just this guy over here, respective banner. As you can see, we had my Shiro, Izuna Haruna, Midori, Momoi, Aris Yuzu, Cherino, Azusa, and now Koharu. So the reality is, is that Koharu is a permanent character. She is not limited. In that regard, she is not actually a certainly 100% must pull. Depending on the amount of jewels you have, as well as like kind of your priorities, because I know a lot of you picked up this game for the bunny girls. You could theoretically skip the Koharu and pray for her to get spooked by her on any of the other banners. After summer, it's going to be like bunny. Like honestly, Honestly, that kind of thinking is okay, especially if you are just more of a casual player. And so for you guys who are more chill about it, or you guys are more in it for like collecting waifus or whatever, you are almost certainly going to be skipping Koharu because limited hell is about to come. Like I said, some are Azusa, some are Mashiro, some are Hifumi, some are Hina, some are Iori, and let me come over here to show you guys even more. Riding suit Shiroko, small Shun casual Saya. I reckon we're not going to get this Hibiki because we have her right now. And then we are going to go into the bunny characters bunny karen bunny neru and bunny asana and so it's for these kinds of reasons that i completely understand why you would skip koharu however if you do want to try like go shoot for the stars for the rankings like you're probably going to need koharu and actually on that note like talking about all of these different summer units or limited units i am certainly going to come out with a video very very soon in terms of pull priority if you do want to meta slave and so keep an eye out for that subscribe if you haven't but with that i think that's going to bring us to the end of the video my guys let me know if you are going to be pulling for koharu whether it be because of meta purposes or if you just think she is cute like that was for me that was is enough let me know down in the comments below and if you do end up leaving a comment i would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video so thank you guys so much but otherwise if you did like this video please consider a like and if you would like to see more then please consider a subscribe and as your girl koharu once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye-bye.